Okay, I'm going to go over uh, this whole restoration thing from the get-go um, using um, this image here, which is the best quality one I can find. Um, if I look at it, uh, image size, this is 1600 by 1200 pixels. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about color correction here, because what you'll notice about this original image is that uh, it's pretty dim. <clears throat> the histogram. Uh, the histogram, as I mentioned yesterday, it's basically a graph of every pixel uh, from darkest to lightest in red, green, and blue. So what the histogram is telling me is that this image doesn't have any values above about 128. Um, I want more. In fact, let's make our um, histogram bigger. Uh, I wonder if we should do all channels view. Yeah, okay. This is actually much better. Um, this is showing me red, green, and blue. Uh, you see that little tiny peak way over there on the right? That's that white rim. Uh, and all this stuff in the bottom, that's the black around it. So the first thing I should do is I should crop. Let's, let's well, let's duplicate first. Good. Uh, and now we will crop. And we'll crop to get rid of the black too. And when we do it, we should see the histograms change considerably. Uh, let me pull down to get rid of as much black as I can. Good. Pull in here to the plant roughly. Oh, ah, I hate it when I do that. I will pull in there to maybe the boot. I think that's pretty good. Maybe I want to go down a little bit lower to get rid of that. Yeah, okay. That is what I will work with. Now, when I hit enter, watch what happens to the histograms. Okay, they change drastically. We no longer have that little bit of white at the top. Um, we just have values in red, green, and blue. Um, now let's color correct that. Uh, I'm going to make another copy. Uh, duplicate layer. Now to color correct it, if I go under image, adjustments, I have a whole bunch of ways of correcting the color. The one we're going to use is called levels. Levels uh, shows the input value and the output value. That's zero, that's 255. You remember me talking about how everything goes to that, and this is what it goes out at, zero to 255. Now I want it all to go out at 255, but I want it to go in at different values. Um, I'm going to do the channel separately. So this is the red channel. I want the red channel to go down here, and you'll watch the image adjust. And let's do the same thing to the green. The green probably has most of the information. And we'll do the same to the blue. And actually, what I want to do is play with that till it looks whitish. Like that. And notice how my histogram changed. That I'm now stretching all the way across the range, which is what I really want to see. Um, I wonder if I'll just go for that. I think I will. I'm going to hit, and to see it, here's the difference. That's before, that's after. Now the big difference here is I do not want to truncate data. Is There's a question you could ask, certainly. Um, if I went like this, I would be truncating data, meaning I would lose everything up top here. And you see there's a little exclamation point? That's telling me that like you've got a problem here, you're losing data. I'll push that back out, and hopefully that exclamation point will go away. Now you lose a little data. Yes, good. Um, so if we go through, you'll see right now, these are my red, green, and blues. I'm actually going to push my red down a little bit. Um, those spaces in between, that's sometimes called posterization. We're actually stretching out uh, where the pixels will be, but as long as the image looks okay, we're okay. Uh, and again, we'll look at it preview-wise. Good. I'm going to hit OK on that, uh, on that color correction. Um, I'm going to show you one other level of color correction, and I like the way this looks, but just to see it, I'm going to go to Levels again, and you notice Levels has these three eyedroppers, and this is red, green, blue, all the channels together. Um, if I take the eyedropper, this is the eyedropper for black. So if I go here and I say, I want that down there to be my black, 
that will set up on that. And for my white, the thing I want to be pure white is going to be this guy's hat band. Okay. And then in the middle, I have to pick what middle gray is. Um, I'm going to guess Van Gogh's jacket. And then it would adjust itself that way. And to see the difference there, I think I actually prefer that. So this will be a second layer of color correction. And since we have the layer behind it, we can see that's without color correction, that's with color correction. Uh, let me turn uh, that off. Now let's do the rotation. Let's make another copy. We're going to duplicate. And this is also, we can go backwards. Um, I should save this, by the way, save as. Uh, we'll call this PSD, PSD, PSD. Photoshop. Now it's the top one, of course. We'll call this uh, VinFix. Yes. Let's do the rotation now. Under View, I'm going to go turn on Extras, and under Extras, I'm going to make sure I have my grid on, which I do. Uh, if I didn't, it would look like that. If I go there again, turn it on like that. This is where I want to straighten it out, and I'm going to use this banister, which I'm pretty certain was straight, as my guide. Uh, let me go under Edit, Rotate, and then I'm going to rotate this image until I can get that banister as straight as I can compared to the lines. Let me zoom in there. That is looking pretty straight. And it's looking straight on these ones too, the up and down ones. Let me see if I want to. Is there any reason to adjust that any further? Ah, that's too far. I think that has just a little ridge of black above it. I hit enter. Okay. Now, let's turn off extras. Uh, this is where I would probably start dust busting. Um, let's make another copy. Duplicate. Why am I always hunting for duplicate here? You know, there's a keyboard command for duplicate. I'm not certain what it is, but um, I should look it up. Uh, and I can now go down through my history here. Rotated. Well, that'll be dust removed. Rotated, color corrected, cropped. Back to the original. Anyway, this is the one we're going to start dust busting on. Um, I probably should turn off that in the background so we see this just the way it is. Uh, okay. I might even want to crop again to get rid of those... Um, weird edges, but I'll worry about that later. So actually right now, I'm going to leave this on just so it has some filling on it. Uh, this is where I want to start the dust busting, because before I do um, the uh, blur removal, this would be the best time for me to eliminate dust, and I have all these tools for it. Like that. So this might take me hours. But this gets me to the point where I would then start doing the um, uh, the the uh, removal of the hand, the shake, and then I would start doing the colorization. Um, okay, that should cover what we did yesterday, and we'll have another video, the video that we did earlier today, so you'll have both of them up there. Uh, it should be up very soon. I'll post them as soon as they're ready.